Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to do a bulk import for ad campaign on Amazon Marketing Services. Getting started advertising in Amazon with sponsored products is easy. You create a campaign, group your ads, set your budget, and start bidding. However, if you're advertising numerous products and are even considering navigating the waters with manual targeting, it is a little more work to set up and update campaigns using Amazon's Campaign Manager. With Amazon's Bulk Operations feature, you can create new campaigns, organize your ads, and fine-tune your budgets and bids by uploading a single file. This empowers busy vendors to create, manage, and optimize their campaigns in bulk and at a scale, saving time and manual effort. A feature that enables them to edit campaigns in bulk for every client in the roster increases their efficiency and lets them allocate more time to scaling and strategy. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that we need to do is to activate bulk operations. Sign into your Amazon AMS account. That is ams.amazon.com. Once you're in, hover your mouse to the advertising tab on top, then select the bulk operations on the drop down. If your account is not yet activated, Amazon AMS will ask you to activate your account first. This is a one-time process that may take hours to complete. Just click the Activate My Account button. Once bulk operations is activated, you can now download your spreadsheet. Choose the date range of your performance data then click the Create Spreadsheet for Download button. Amazon will then prepare your spreadsheet and it may take up to 15 minutes to create your file. Once your file is ready, a download link will appear beside the file name. Just click the Download button, then your computer will download the spreadsheet. After you have downloaded your spreadsheet, now it is time to edit your file. Locate the spreadsheet that you've downloaded, then open the file. Do not change anything on the first row, or else Amazon won't recognize this as a valid file. The first row contains all the labels for each item in creating an ad on Amazon. The data you provided on the record type column may vary depending on what type of item you're planning to add in each row. It can be a campaign, an ad group, an ad, or a keyword. The ad group column is a required placeholder field in your spreadsheet that needs to be filled out to successfully upload your changes and set bids for your campaign. The only time that this is going to be empty is when you're adding a campaign row. The first thing that you need to do in creating a whole new campaign on this spreadsheet is adding a campaign in an ad group row. You can either copy and paste the previous row and edit the campaign column, If you have indicated a new ad group in your spreadsheet, Amazon will automatically register this as a new ad group on your Amazon account. Please be advised that a max bid on the ad group row is required regardless of the campaign targeting type. And for automatic campaign, just like this one, this is the bid that the campaign will use. Next is you can add the ASIN of your products that you wish to advertise. Since this campaign uses automatic targeting, I don't need to place or indicate any keywords for Amazon is going to do that for me. If you wanted to change your campaign targeting type to manual, 
Just change the campaign targeting type from auto to manual. After you've changed it, you can now add your keywords at the bottom. You can then set different bid amount on each keyword that you have indicated. Please take note on how rows are labeled in the record type column. Once you're done, save your file then go back to the bulk operations page. Locate your file and upload it by clicking the choose file button. Once your upload is complete, the ads will be live. You can also check the reports for any errors to make sure that everything is uploaded properly and running. You can now view your new campaign on the campaign manager and you can also see the changes they have made for the existing campaigns. And that, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to do a bulk import for ad campaign on Amazon Marketing Services. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!